Welcome to Speaking of Business. I'm Goldie Hyder of the Business Council of Canada. In this special series, we are exploring how business leaders are responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. If you're like me, you've been watching and reading a lot of news over the past few weeks to keep up on the health crisis in Canada. And while many of us are practicing physical distancing, journalists are in the field and in the newsroom delivering much needed information. So how are they keeping safe and healthy while performing this essential service? Doug Murphy is president and CEO of Course Entertainment. He oversees dozens of television channels, including Global TV, as well as a network of radio stations and digital properties. Welcome to the podcast, Doug. Thank you, Goldie. It's nice to join you. Well, let's jump right in. I know how busy you are. Perhaps more than ever, though, Canadians are really relying on news and the trustworthiness of that news. But you have to believe that in this time, you have this equal responsibility to keep your reporters and your production crews and others as safe as possible. How much are the health guidelines impacting your ability to deliver the news? Well, first of all, I'm happy to join you. I think it's wonderful what the Business Council has been doing in terms of uh, inviting leaders to discuss their company's experiences with the COVID crisis. It's certainly a, a meaningful and important topic. We at Chorus Entertainment, one of our most important, in fact, our most important obligation is to provide news to Canadians. And that is, you know, in an era of fake news, uh, I've heard the COVID-19 pandemic call. It's the first ever social media pandemic. There is a lot of news out there, which is not news. At Global News, we employ more than a thousand people across the country. We produce news for television, for radio, for digital, online it's local, it's regional, it's national. And there's an army of people that are so thoroughly committed to bringing Canadians the story that's important for them. And Canadians now, you won't be surprised to know this, Goldie, that the ratings on newscasts, not just global, but um, CTV and CBC, are up 50 to 70%. And we're seeing that on our AM news radio stations, on our globalnews.ca, and on our national broadcast. And so we've had to adapt a bunch of different approaches. I mean, you know, no longer do you see scrums of reporters trying to get in front of people. In fact, uh, right now, when the prime minister does his daily briefing at 1115, there's one camera and we pool the video we shoot amongst all the broadcasters. That's but one example. And the team has been working very hard to change the workflows and we've been successful at so doing. Well, that's amazing, uh, you know, statistics that you've just shared in terms of the viewership, but it confirms what we were saying, right? Canadians are thirsty for reliable information, and it's great that you're able to provide it to them. Now, in doing so, I understand that in your Toronto operations, you actually had to deal with two cases of COVID-19 back in mid-March. How did that impact that particular location and any actions you took thereafter? We moved pretty quickly to establish a work-from-home protocol, both with our news operations and across the whole company. In fact, of our 3,500 employees, more than 75% are now working from home. The situation at our news operation that's up in Don Mills here in Toronto was two of our uh, very notable reporters came down with the COVID virus. You know, our team is on the front line, not in the way that the heroic medical workers are, but they are covering news and putting themselves in harm's way. And it was not surprisingly quite a shock to our team. But we have been very thorough and diligent in terms of our communications uh, here at Chorus. We're in the communications business, so it shouldn't surprise anybody. And we worked very closely with the team in the Don Mills operation to ensure that they were safe, that we will take care of them. And I think one of the things we did as a company was we put our employees first. So when all this happened, our primary obligation was the safety of our team. And we get countless notes and emails and calls from them saying what a remarkable effort the company has made to take care of them. So when the situation at Don Mills arose, we took immediate action and put everybody at ease that they would be safe. And they are. And I'm very happy to report that both of those reporters are 100% recovered and we have no other situations of COVID in the company. Well, that's great news. Now, Doug, I'm speaking with you shortly after Canada surpassed 1,000 deaths due to COVID-19. And it's obviously very easy to get discouraged with news like that. But you've launched a new initiative called Canada Together to try and also get out some positive messages during this time. What is it that you're doing specifically? We are proud of our news operations, although you're right, there are times when you don't want to look at the news because it's just getting, you know, kind of heavy. 
So our team came together with a great initiative. It's called uh, Hashtag Canada Together. And it's a nationwide initiative to help inspire, educate, and engage Canadians as we band together during this unprecedented time. So it's about shining a light on the incredible contributions and acts of kindness that businesses and individuals and frontline workers are making as we all cope with either the frontline medical situations or self-isolation and social distancing. You know, at its core, the work we do at Chorus is about community. And we build communities of listeners and viewers with every network and show that people love and with every on-air personality who gains meaningful following. So we strengthen our communities by sharing information about the people and the events important to our cities, provinces, and the country. So this uh, hashtag Canada Together has a number of different pillars, you know, celebrate together, learn together, educate together. And these are all with content that links to different features. So for example, we have a whole fundraising campaign as part of the Celebrate Together initiative. There's lots of information on what to do at home. Home together is another pillar. Cooking together, you know, we're all doing more cooking at home than maybe we've done in the past. So um, we have a number of lead sponsors and we just launched it. I think the funnest thing we're doing is every Sunday at noon, we encourage Canadians to get out on their front doorstep and sing O Canada. And throughout the week, we invite Canadians to submit their versions of O Canada on hello at Coruscant.com. And the most recent one last Sunday was by the three tenors. Uh, And I got to tell you, Goldie, it brings a tear to your eye when you look at those three talented singers, all self-isolated singing the national anthem. It is something else. Yeah, that sounds really special. And I think we're seeing that not just here in Canada, but around the world. And it's these little things, isn't it, Doug, that help you kind of get through these challenging times? And, it, and you know, it is. And it's also entertainment. I mean, we're also a big entertainment company. So, you know, we're seeing all kinds of people watching HGTV and the Property Brothers or the Food Network or YTV. You know, we're not confused about when people are home, they're watching a lot more television and listening to a lot more radio. And so it's our job to help bring entertainment and a smile to everybody's face, in addition to the factual news that's so important. Well, you're doing a great job at it. And uh, as we conclude, I thought I would ask you a question that I want to explore with all of our leaders. And that is, what are you learning about yourself in this unprecedented situation that we find ourselves in? And particularly, how has it impacted you as a leader? I think two things. I've been watching and reading a lot about Winston Churchill recently. And um, I just watched The Darkest Hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as did I. And, I. and I and I rewatched The Gathering Storm. And, you know, and I think there's a certain battlefield management style you have to take in times like this. Yeah, we are at war, aren't we? Yeah. And, th- and that's about being decisive, but it's about protecting your flank and making sure your team's fine. I think there are times as leaders that we can delegate and, and let the teams run with it. We're doing a lot of that. But in other circumstances, you know, I'm being more directive and making sure that we're being quick to the mark on execution. Uh, The other thing I would just say is communication. I've always been a big fan of communication, but, you know, you cannot over communicate enough. You know, we can't get our teams together in in big groups anymore. You know, I shot a video last week because we did our second quarter earnings release. So I did a three and a half minute video, which we sent around the, the team. We do Skype town halls with the revenue team, for example. We do an all call, which is a course audio call where we have you know questions that are sent in advance and I'm available to anybody anytime if they want to talk or email so I think the other thing I've learned is just to continue to be communicative and to listen a lot because people are scared and you know they're getting frustrated and in some cases they're very lonely we have younger people that work in our business that you know are very social and uh, you know if you're in your late 20s and been locked in your studio apartment for three weeks, that's very, very difficult. So I think just being available and being vulnerable as a leader is powerful at times like this. What a great place to end. Thanks for being available. Thanks for being vulnerable. Thanks so much for all that you're doing, Doug. We, we, we uh, really appreciate it. Happy to do it anytime, Goldie. And thank you for doing what you're doing too. Doug Murphy is president and CEO of Course Entertainment. If you've been enjoying our special podcast series, why not share it with a friend? You can hear all of our conversations wherever you get your podcasts or simply go to our website, speakingofbiz.ca. That's biz with a Z. Until next time, I'm Goldie Hyder. Thanks for joining us.